Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and I'm starting with a very special um, birthday announcement. Happy birthday, Emily Williams. Um, not only did I know it was your birthday, but your husband Byron wrote to us, <laughs> maybe to your surprise, to say uh, that we should wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you very much for everything, for your relentless positivity every day in the comments and for everything you do for the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, and today's puzzle is, I don't know if it's any kind of a tribute to that. It is a shuriken, which I think is a Japanese throwing star. Um, or maybe even the plural of Japanese throwing stars. But look at the design in the grid. This is fabulous. And these are palindromes, but the numbers in circles are weird. They're either quadruples or anti-quadruples. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, don't forget that there are still some days to enter the... Uh, the Patreon competition, the Planet Suite, um, and to get your way through, um, try and get these right in order. Mercury, I'm not going to do it, am I? Because they're in planet size order, and I've forgotten. I think it goes Mercury, Mars, Venus, Earth, um, Saturn, Jupiter for the first six planets, um, which is not the order we normally learn them in, not based on my very easy mnemonic just summed up nine planets, which is a fantastic mnemonic, um, and only applied when Pluto existed as a planet, uh, rather than a minor planet, but there we go. Now, what else have we got going on? We've got all our apps, do check them out. Um, none of them feature palindromes or quadruples apart from the free 500k app that comes with the the ctc um, app itself so do check it out there's a number of free puzzles there and then you can get the gas puzzles and the domino sudoku puzzles and it's well worth it it really is there's just so much great content great stuff to do while you're on your sun lounger on holiday this year or doing whatever you do every day um, I am just Mark doing Mark things, and one of those things, unusually, is a puzzle by Zeon Risk. Um, and the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We'll be putting one to nine in every row, column, and box. Um, somehow. The sequence of digits on a grey line reads the same from both directions. So each of these grey lines is a palindrome, and that means, for instance, the ends will be the same, and the next cell in will be the same as each other. Um, circles are either quadruples or anti-quadruples, meaning either that each of the digits in a circle must appear in at least one of its four surrounding cells. So either five and seven must appear somewhere in this group of cells, maybe twice each, maybe one of them twice, or each of the digits in a circle must not appear in any of its four surrounding cells. So in that case, this would mean five and seven couldn't be in this group. Um, which circle is which must be deduced by the solver. I mean, that's just crazy times. No wonder this is going to feel awful. I just have a feeling it's going to feel awful. But give it a try. See how you do. And if you struggle at all, watch my solve to see how I struggle at all and then how I eventually persevere and get through it. Wild prediction. Right, we shall see. Let's get cracking. Um, oh, nearly hit the wrong button. Let's get cracking by hitting the right button. There we go. Okay, so, well, there's something funky going on with these crazy five sevens in the middle. Okay, the first thing I can tell you is that all of these five sevens can't be true because there are no, there, that cell is shared by each of the five seven circles, but obviously no other cell is. But two of them could be true, couldn't they? Because there are shared cells. And I'm going to correct that. Two of them can't be true. Because if you shared the two cells between this circle and this circle, it would be those two cells. But if you were to put 5, 7 there, this 5, 7 is wrong. Because one of the 5, 7s is in it, and one of them is out. In fact, this is impossible. So, they can't... Well, I, I didn't even rule this out out loud, but they can't all not have five or seven in, because you'd have to fit five and seven into both of 
both digits into this cell for none of these to be true. So one of them is true. I think I've just proved that you can't have two true. Yes, that it can't even be those two being true because again, there's one shared cell only. And in fact, that's shared by this one. There is no way for two of these to be true. So one of these five sevens is true and the other two are false. And that means I think it's this one in the top left. Well, no, this one must be false. Because you're going to have to put the 5, 7 somewhere to make one of these true, but keep it out of the range of the other two. And that is going to be either those two cells or those two cells. So if 5, 7 is in these cells, then this bottom circle is true and these other true these other two are definitely false. They're anti-quadruples. Alternatively, 5, 7 is there, and these two are false. That is so weird. I have no idea what this means for 2, 4. I don't think that's particularly helpful at the moment. Now, if 5, 7 are there, I don't know what it means for this. It means that if that has... Okay... Oh, the, palindro the palindromes. The palindromes are actually the most important part of this, aren't they? Yeah, the palindromes are the most important part. If 5, 7 is there, on the palindrome, 5, 7 must be there. And then 7 is on this circle, so it's a true circle, and that's a 2, 4 pair. And on the palindrome, that's a 2, 2, 4 pair. And this is a true circle, and that's a 1, 6 pair. That all holds together. Ah, I don't think this one holds together. Right, if this was a 5, 7 pair, which is the other alternative. Now, on this palindrome, that cell would be 5 or 7 because that's opposite this cell. So if that was 5, 7, this would be a 5, 7. Now the rule is that this, uh, this 5, 7 clue down at the bottom has to be true, because it's got a 5 or a 7 on it. So it must be true for both. But where would you put the other 5 or 7? You cannot put it here, because that's the same as this cell, and sees a 5, 7 pair, and you can't put it in these cells because they see the 5, 7 pair, so this 5, 7 pair is not true. That is really... Well, I mean, it's simple when you see it, but it's such a clever idea. And that's just what we're looking for in these puzzles. If you have a clever idea, make a Sudoku puzzle involving it. Make it really elegant and see if you can get it on the channel like Xeon Risk. Right, that is right, and now we can follow this chain of reasoning. 5, 7 goes there on the palindrome. 2, 4 must go here, because this is a true clue. Maybe I should colour. Oh, I'll tell you what, can I... I don't know. I thought I could maybe use the pen tool to colour these things green or red, but I don't think I can put... No... I mean, I could put that in to say that's a true clue. And this was a true one. I don't know, is there any point doing this? And these were false, oops. That's not what I was trying to do. These were false ones. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this until it's proved to be stupid. Anyway, uh, that, that got interesting because we had a two, four, Oh no, it obscures the palindromes. Right, forget it, forget it. Let's just remember what we're doing. This is a true clue. Two and four are there. On this palindrome, that makes this a two four that makes this a two four pair. Now this is a true palindrome, and that's a one six pair, and this cell is on a palindrome, and that is one or six. But if it's one, it doesn't tell us whether this is true. If it's a six, it does. Now what? This is not 4, 5 or 7. 
Yeah, okay, that's good. If four, five, if this was a true clue, four, five, and seven would have to be in those cells. That would include two of these, which are the same as these two on the palindrome, but you can't have all of these four cells being from four, five, seven. So this is a false clue. Okay, we haven't found many full... Well, I found some. I'm going to surround that with... I don't know, orange for false. Green can be true. Orange is a bit less obtrusive than the red colour. So 4, 5 and 7 can't go in these cells. So 4 can't go in these cells. Because they're on the palindrome. Oh, also this can't be 4, 5 or 7. Is that interesting? No. What next? This is so strange. Um, ah, these cells can't be 5 and 7. So if this was a true clue, that would be a 5-7 pair, which would put another 5 or 7 here, which is impossible because this box has had its 5 sevens. So this clue is false as well. I'm going to surround that with orange. There is no 5 or 7 in those orange cells, no 4, 5 or 7 in those ones. I mean, this is still almost as puzzling to me as it was at the start as to how this can possibly be unique. Ah, that can't be two or four based on those. So if this two, four clue is true, that is a two, four pair. Making that a two or four. That looks feasible. Can't rule it out. Okay, this pair are also over here. They cannot include five and seven on the rule that, and the orange square. They can't include two or four. So they're from one, three, six, eight, nine. Ah, this cell's interesting. This can't be four, five, or seven. In the box, it can't be one, six, or two. That is three, eight, or nine, and that replicates to here. Ooh, so for this to be a false clue, this is now going to have to be 9-1. Nine, 9-1 one. Nine, one there. Don't know. It's possible. It's possible either way. That is the point. Two, four, one, six. Can that? I don't know. These palindromes seem very odd shapes to me. I mean, I. Well, obviously, none of these cells in the center can be five or seven, so that's not worth thinking about. Um, wow, what on earth? I was going to say, oh, look, there's an X-wing on fives. But I don't know, because this could be an inaccurate clue. This could be a false clue, an anti-quadruple. This pair. Ah, now that is... Th oh, no, we, I, knew, I knew that this couldn't be four, five, or seven. So we can't have a four there. That's all I've learned, is it, from this? Now, if I could say we can't have a four there, that would be interesting, because that would make the four in the central box have to be actually in one of those two cells. In fact, since they can't be a four, there is a four somewhere in this group of cells. The only remaining interesting clue in the middle box is the two four. Wow, what on earth? Um, now, we've discovered this was false. I was quite pleased with that discovery, but it hasn't seemed to teach me much else about the puzzle. Ah, 2457, right. They, 245 and 7 must go into these cells because of that quadruple looking at those three and this pair that we've sort of begun to isolate. So these are from 16389. This is 
also from 16389, as is that, and they're counterparts on the palindrome. I might as well pencil mark those if I'm doing full pencil marking. Now, what does this 2457 do? It sorts out the truth or falsity of this circle, which is now false, because you can't get all of 3, 6, and 8 on it. Therefore, these are false, and we know they're 9 and 1. Isn't that lovely? So we can put one nine on the palindrome. The palindromes are certain. The, the quadruples and anti-quadruples give clues. It's a really weird dynamic or dichotomy. Now, what have we learned from that? We must have learned something from that. These don't have one nine in. These two are from one or nine. They are replicated on palindromes palindromoi, to give them the correct Greek plural, I suppose. And now that's a one-nine pair. That's weird. Now, I still don't know about this. Is there a three up there? Can I know there isn't? I don't know. I'm not even going to think about that. Um... Ah, this can't have one and nine on it because one of them is here missing it so that's false now the other of one or nine must be in one of these cells these are from three five six seven eight let's let's mark it like that now this can only have two four if there are a pair in these two because that's one or nine then that's five seven yeah, it seems to work um, there's quite a lot of cells in this box that can't be won because of that and because of this pair and this pair. I think all of these cells can't be won. So one is wow, it's very difficult to keep five off this. So if this was a liar, five can't be in those cells or there. Five would have to be here and here and here and here and here on the palindrome. I mean, you'd get a lot of prescribed fives, but that hasn't actually failed. This is really interesting. Why, why does one either have to be on it or not. If I could sort out this one nine pair, I might have the answer. And this one, I still don't know whether two four are on it or off it. Well, in fact, yeah, we've almost used all the quadruples. That, that, and that. We still have to determine their truth or falsehood. Um, ah, ooh, where's one in the central box? That's interesting. It's now not in those cells by Sudoku. Ooh, that sees a one-nine pair as well. Right, one in the central box is either there or there, which is very weird because along the palindromes, that puts it either there or there. And they see all of those cells, which now can't be a one. So one in box nine is in one of those positions. In box three, it's in one of those two positions. That might as well mark it in box five, which was the seed for all this. It's in one of those two. In box four, it's in one of those two. Oh, this is getting strange. Now, we said in box eight, it's in one of those three. And there the trail goes cold and peters out. That's so weird. Right. Um, <sighs> these are not from four, five, seven. 
So they're from 2, 3, 6 and 8. Because they're all... Uh, yeah, because they appear here and they're not 1 or 9, therefore. That doesn't look like I've really done anything, does it? 2, 4 and 6 have to be in these cells somewhere. I'm just missing something quite big. Yeah, I mean, for instance, whatever this digit is, it's the same in those two positions. So then it must end up in one of these three cells in box four. I need to find that for something else, something that's going to surprise me. Um... I'm not seeing it for anything else yet. Those two are the same. Oh, that's interesting. Those two are the same on the palindrome, and that rules out all of these cells. So they must be from something that appears in there. They are from 1, 2, 4, or 6. Now, that is interesting, because this one can't be a 1, because we've done something with ones. Um, now, they're from 2, 4, or 6. How are we using that next? If they were from 2 or 4, we've got another one there somewhere. That must be one of them. One of whatever digit we're talking about. I don't know. That oh, it felt like that was really interesting, and it kind of died out. Maybe I just need to find another cell that is even better. What about this one? It doesn't look like this is. Ah. No, I still don't know whether this three seven is genuine. If it is, that has to be a three now. Oh, this is, this is potentially profitable. Then that's a three. And if that's the case, what's happening to ones? We're getting ones fixed all over the place. Because this would be where one is in the central box, and that would be where one is there. And we would get a one here on the palindrome. That's already a one. We'd get a one there. Um, I don't know after that. Do I? No, I don't. Oh, but that was interesting about 246. So, do I need to consider... Right, if that was a 3, we'd have a 3 in one of those two cells. Yes, this is interesting that I don't know whether this is true or not. It, it feels like I probably do, and I can't work it out. I mean, I, I strongly feel it's not going to be true, this 3-7 clue, but I need to prove that to have achieved anything. I don't know, is it worth pencil marking these cells? Two, three, four, six, eight. That one can't be a six. I don't think it is. But I've done it. I just need a tiny bit more go forward on the palindromes. Ah, that is three, five, six, seven, or eight, and appears here where it can't be five or seven. So that is three, six, or eight. Just hadn't seen that palindrome spot. Now, if I knew it was a three, I'd learn all about this. What have I got in the column? One, nine, three from three, five, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, I said this is the only place where five can be in this box and not be on the circle. And that would place fives in all sorts of positions.
all sorts of positions would be fives. Ah, I don't know. I still don't even know whether this is a 2-4 pair. This is, that's, that's vital. Come on, that must be gettable now. If that was 2-4, I mean, I've noticed this potential 2-4 pair here. Now I'm wondering about 1 and 9 in this column. I don't know. I can't see my way through this quite. Five. If, if this is a lie, this is very hard to be a lie. Oh, that's quite interesting. If that's true, and therefore this is a three. Oh, no. And I was going to say it goes there. That's not the palindrome. Then that puts a three here, doesn't it? What's wrong with that? Think about that a bit more. Why shouldn't this be a three? That would be a one. You have ones here. Whatever this digit is, it's got to be on this circle. And still I cannot decide whether this circle is true. Obviously if it's a 1 in this, these positions, then the 1 here is true. But if it's a 9, oh maybe I should just be colouring 1s and 9s based on this one and these. Let's give that a try. I don't have many other cells to, to really attempt this with, so I'm going to try it. Yellow versus red. That one is a yellow one on the palindrome. I don't think it's going to teach me anything, but, but I'm in the market to learn anything I possibly can. Um, that's obviously a yellow and red pair, so there'd be a yellow up here. Yellow is in one of these two. Ah, I'm so close to having an idea what's going on here. I really think... This is like one deduction away from everything being revealed. I, I've often made that prediction. I've very often been wrong, but it's what it feels like still. Now, there has to be, in, in this column, I'm looking at fives and sevens. One of them is down here. But is it five or is it seven? Whatever this is has to be in this group of cells and not right there. Oh, looks, I cannot see what's going on. Interesting though that if if this was from anything from three five seven eight, but particularly a five, you'd have a quadruple there, and this would be a six, and that would be a six. And what does that do? That puts a six in one of those positions. Wow, I cannot quite get a grip on it. I can't do it. What's going on, guys? What is going on here? I'm determined to get through this. And I think there's probably something very, very clear that you are laughing uproariously at me not spotting. What am I missing here? There's something going on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a one in definitely one of those cells. Uh, 
Now if that's a 1, it makes that a 1 in the row and that's a 1. Yellow is 1 then. But if that, well that can't be a 1, but uh, no, what was I going to say? That is the alternative position for 1 in box, in row 4. So that would give us a 1 here. And that would make red a 1. Whew, we'd have all of these positions for 1s. There'd be a 1 up there somewhere. There'd be a 1 down there. And then somewhere... I don't know! Is it really, really blindingly obvious? Whatever this is, five or seven, has to be on this circle and in that group. Five or seven in here. I mean, obviously one of them is a five or a seven, at least. Probably both are in there. And this digit in the central box that has to go in one of those two positions. Is that any use? Not really, Mark. Not really. Still think we're close. I don't know what the justification for thinking that is. This wretched 3-7 clue. Sure, it's telling me that can't be a three. Because then we'd have a three here. We'd have a three somewhere there. One of those two. I don't know. This is not... I'm not learning anything from this anymore. Oh, that can't be a six just by ordinary Sudoku. It's on the palindrome. That can't be a six. I don't think that's... Well, it leaves all of those cells able to be a six. Whatever that is, is in that group. So if it's two or four, it's there as well. I'm just rehashing the same deductions again and again. Not really throwing my star and getting any, any information now. This has been really interesting, actually, and yet incredibly frustrating. And I still cannot see a way out of it. Right, if this 2, 4 was false, I haven't thought a lot about that. It puts 4 there, which puts 4 there. Four is also in one of those cells. Then 4 would have to be down here somewhere. What about two? I just... It doesn't feel like it resolves anything. If this is a two, four pair, and because this two, four clue is true, then that is two or four. On the palindrome. And then that has to be one of two or four. Because which, whichever this is, it's in one of those two cells in box five. And that's here. And that is too many two fours up the middle column. My lord, is that right? So if this two four clue was true, that is two or four. Um, sorry, that is a pair of 2-4. That must be right. And then on the palindrome, that is 2 or 4. In box 6, that 
creates a two or four here by what is seen, and that puts one here, and that's too many two fours at the middle column. Wow. So this two four is false. Let's just get rid of the yellow and red coloring again, because it didn't really do anything for me. Um, but I found this is false. So those aren't potential fours. There is a four in one of these cells and not in these two. And therefore these are from two, five and seven, which I've never pencil marked weirdly. Now, these can't be two or four. So the four in the rows in one of those cells. There is now a four in one of those two. There must be a four in one of those two. Two and four are outside, so these include two and four. Oh, come on, come on, come on, what, what next? Two and four in this column Pencil marks rule out quite a few cells. And that is ruled out by the orange marking. So two and four must now be in these remaining cells. There we go. That's a two. That's a four. These are on, on palindromes. So I can get rid of some pencil marks. This is on a palindrome. That makes that a two. This feels significant. So we've got a four here. That's not a four. That's not a two, so that's not a two on the palindrome. In fact, two in this central box now has to be here. And now we're actually doing something. And now we will see whether my prediction that it will all come together once it comes together, he said fatuously, is right. There's a four in one of those cells. Now, how are we doing twos and fours? Those can't be twos. That can't even be a two. That is a five or a seven. Yes, OK, we know that now. Five is not able to be in any of those cells. This is a true clue. Um, and one, three, and five must all be on it. And that affects the rest of the box quite a bit. Look at that. We've got a six, eight pair and a four. This is a one, three, five, seven. That must be one. These are from three, five, seven. That's a triple, so that's not a three. That's also therefore not a three. Keep using the palindromes wherever we can. There's another one. Nine, one, one. No one in those cells. Five, seven, one, two, four. This is three, six, or eight, and is on the palindrome as well. Ah, come on, it is coming now. It is not easy still. Oh, look, that's Sudoku, four and two. Oh, it's also palindrome. Really got to keep looking at that palindrome thing all the time. Now, whatever this is, it's the same there. And in this box, it's got to be here. Um, don't know what that means. One in box four or in row four has got fixed. Um, there's a five, seven pair there, five, seven, four, one, six, two. The others are from three, eight, nine, and I can place the nine. This is a three, six, eight, triple. Okay. That has become three or eight. And I still don't know whether this is telling the truth or lying. That's extraordinary. I know for every other circle in the puzzle, what its role is, but not for this one. We've got a pair there of either 3, 7 or 8, 5. Oh, OK, keep going, keep going. It's coming now. 3, 8 pair. That's the same as that. Let's give those a colour red. That must be up there somewhere. 3 or 8. Gosh, this is crazy. Okay, the other of five, seven. Oh yeah, that is yellow. That's on the palindrome, so that's there. 
So the other of five or seven is in this cell. The other yellow, I mean, is in that cell. Must be. And there. And in one of those two. Gosh. Um, so this is five or seven. Because it's definitely yellow. And that's a pair. So this is three, six or eight. I'm getting a huge three, six, eight triple everywhere. Um, this digit must be in that cell because it's ruled out of all of those. You keep having to do this. So that's not a three. And that's on the end of the palindrome. And I knew that from this one, apparently. I just hadn't marked it. Ow. There's a three in one of those two. Gosh, this is an intriguing puzzle. These can't have a four in. Um, that is five or seven being yellow. That's a two by Sudoku. Who knew there'd be Sudoku to do? Um, four, two, two. That's no, one of those is a two. And one of those. That's the last remaining X-wing on twos. That can't be a one. So we've placed one up here. I hadn't noticed that. One of those is a one. Let's get rid of the corner mark in red. That can't be either red, three or eight, or whatever the other color would be. So that's a five or seven. Now, is it yellow or the other? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. No, I don't know. Um, I thought there might be a sneaky way of knowing. Six must be in one of those two cells. What about this row? We've got a 3-8 pair looking at that. That is a 6. It's on a palindrome. I can fill it in there. It goes here in box whatever this is. Box, box 4. It, that's on a palindrome. It goes here. This is now 3 or 8 on this palindrome. And that is proved by the 6 seeing it. Well, not proved. That 6 sees this cell. That's an 8. Now we can't have 8 in these. That one also can't be six. So one of these is a six. Um, got this three eight pair going. Now, what am I missing on the palindromes? I've got a five seven pair here. Okay, let's get rid of all the orange coloring. It's really, I mean, all of the coloring on the palindromes orange and green, is resolved, except apart from this pair, which are either a yes or a no pair. I don't know if you know what I mean. I hope you do. Let's get rid of all that stuff. So we're still highlighting yellows and reds. Now, there are others. So the non-yellow five sevens can be blue. Still don't know what that one is. There's a blue in one of those cells. That's blue. Um, right, that can't be five or seven. That's the sort of thing it helps me see. This now can't be three or eight, and I need to color the three and eights. So I've got red. Let's have bright green for the other color. Um, don't know why that's part colored. Green and red for three and eights. So have I got any other three and eights on the go, or does that see it? Yes, that becomes green. so interesting. It's such a clever puzzle, but it really doesn't suit my abilities. <laughs> five and seven are possibles here. I don't know what colour of five, seven that is. Do I know about three and eight? Not really. Oh, this... I can't tell if... Oh, yes, I can. It's on the palindrome. That's green. 
Oh, that's interesting. So none of these can be three or eight because they see green and red. Red's in one of those two cells. Now, what else is going on in the palindromes? Keep looking at the palindromes. There's not much else left to do on the palindromes, but if I keep missing everything that I'm learning from them, it's just a painful fail. That's blue. So that's blue five or seven. Good grief. So these are from three, eight, nine. The three or eight is the green color there somewhere. Well, it's not here, is it? It's not here. This is in fact seeing red 3.8 and green 3.8. So that is a nine. So the coloring is paying off. Don't tell me it was totally obvious anyway, because I can't handle that kind of truth. Now, three or eight there, three or eight there. One of those is green three or eight. It is this baby. And all the greens are eights. And all the, well, the reds that I've identified are threes. That can't be eight, that can't be three. Let's get rid of red and green coloring now because it's done its job. Oh, can I not get rid of, yeah, let's get rid of all red. Let's get rid of all green. We've still got these yellows and blues, fives and sevens to sort out. But I'm beginning to feel that this is coming together. Ah, oh, and this has now told me this is a genuine three, seven pair. And now I know that yellow is a genuine seven, uh, is seven. Blue is five. Must be able to finish off now, he said, with no great confidence in it at all. Um, I mean, we've done all the clues, so the rest is Sudoku. Oh, there's a four there. There's a four in one of those cells. That eight, no, eights are done. Nine, one of these is a nine. Let's get rid of all the coloring. I mean, it, I don't think it's adding anything anymore. Um, it is just Sudoku now. So we've got a seven in one of those two. For one of those is a one. Ah, that sees a five and a seven. So that's a one. That is a seven. This is a five. Good. One, eight, seven, two, five. There's a nine somewhere there. And an eight somewhere on the other side. That is three or four. One, eight, seven, four, three has to be in one of those two cells. Not here. That's two or six. Still doesn't resolve this row. Three, six, ah, oh, come on. Five, two, six, one, seven, eight, nine. Don't know about three up there. Down here, one is in the corner. Getting no song for itself. Six is there. Okay, these are coming together a bit. Let's get rid of the corner marks. This is two, three, or four. Six, eight, seven, two. That is three or nine. Get rid of the corner marks again. That's five or nine. This is two or five. Oh, and look at this chocolate teapotness. Two different ways of filling that lot in. Okay, let's go corner marks. Three or eight in the corner. Let's hope it's a three. Three, four. Oh, is there still something to do? There is still something to do in this puzzle. Look at all those two possibilities each with a three in six that is five eight or nine does that form any triples no are you joking with me I mean here we go that is fully pencil marked let's get rid of the last bit of corner marks what am I not seeing here? Oh, 
There's more. Oh, the, we, those can't have a. Th oh, there's a three in this box. That's big. Something. Come on. Something's been done. Oh, this is. There's a blinking huge Y wing. These are so hard to spot. That is so cruel at the end of this. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something straightforward. But look at this cell. Six or eight. And look at the effect that has on these two. Whichever you put in, one of them's a three. And look what that's going to do here. It's going to stop it being a three. That is a textbook Y wing or empty rectangle. And it's just mad and cruel. But hey, there it is. Spotted it. Very well done if you did that another way, or if you spotted it yourself. Because that's so hard. But that not being able to be a three, that's huge for this puzzle. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sort out this box in a second. Well, as long as it takes me to type the numbers in. Not very long, even for me. Uh, that's become an eight. That's a six. I mean, it just does everything. Does everything. Isn't it mad when this happens? Look at that. You can just fill everything in based on that one thing. Oh, we do get a three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion and the puzzle is solved. Whoa, great puzzle. Thank you, Zeon Risk. I know, I know that wasn't speedy and brilliant, but the puzzle is brilliant. The puzzle is absolutely brilliant. And I, my hat is off to you for creating that. That is very, very special. And again, thank you. Thank you, as always, for watching us on the channel and for following following these mad solves where we descend into delirium and then re-emerge on the, on the, from the whirlpool and take a gulp of air before we go back in again tomorrow. Um, always a pleasure to be with you on the channel and thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.